Welcome to the Ivory Egg Technical Bulletin. The KNX Association have recently updated the way the system topology works following changes to the way devices connect to the bus. So let's take a look at the details and how this could simplify your next KNX system design. When a telegram is sent on the bus, the signal is impacted by each device on the line, which eventually impacts the readability of the telegram. This is the reason we have a maximum number of devices per segment to ensure the correct operation of the bus at all times. Up until now, the limit has been 64 devices per segment, with line repeaters used to regenerate the telegrams. Three can be used to create a full line of 256 devices. However, the KNX standard was updated quite a few years ago with a new electronics design for bus coupler units. That's the electronics that connect a KNX device to the bus. Called TP1256, devices using this new standard have four times higher impedance than the original KNX devices, meaning they have a reduced data load on the bus. Or to put it another way, there can be four times as many devices on a line while still maintaining the integrity of the telegram. The different types of bus coupler, the old ones and the new ones, are completely interchangeable and using the newer version in the existing topology presents no issues at all. However, the sheer majority of KNX devices in the market are now using the newer version so we can start promoting a line as having 256 devices without any line repeaters. This massively simplifies the installation and realises the true potential of the KNX topology. If you do have a mixture of old and new devices, then each TP-164 device takes the place of four TP-1256 devices. As long as the total is less than 256, then the line will operate correctly. So for example, if you have 32 older devices, then 32 times 4 equals 128, meaning you could have 128 of the newer devices on the same line. If you have a larger number of the older devices in the system, you can always use the line repeater in the way that we are used to. The other design limitations remain. No loops, maximum of 350 meters from a device to a power supply, and no more than 1000 meters in a single line. Another aspect this changes is the number of devices on line zero and area zero. Previously, this was limited to 64 devices, as you weren't able to have line repeaters on these system lines, but that restriction has been removed. You can now have 256 devices on these lines, which increases the total number of devices possible in a KNX installation to 61,696. The total of 256 devices on line 0 and area 0 does include any couplers that are linking to lower level lines or areas, and the same rule applies for mixing old and new devices. One TP-164 device takes the place of four TP-1256 devices. Whilst this is a really big step forward and a major simplification for designing systems, the other limit on the number of devices on a line is the size of the power supply. Whilst we may be able to have 256 devices on a line, there aren't currently any power supplies that could deliver enough current, assuming the device average of 10 milliamps each. Gera and Jung do have a 1280 milliamp power supply, which potentially doubles the number of devices you could have over a standard 640 milliamp power supply, but these are pretty unique in the market. It is also possible to have some makes of power supply next to each other on the bus to increase the available current, but as a lot still require 200 meters separation, this needs to be checked carefully. Where you do need to add more power supplies, line repeaters can be used in the recognized way. As a KNX distributor, we have checked with all our key manufacturers and the support for TP1256 is near universal, meaning the new simplified topology can be used immediately. If you would like any more information about this, check out the article linked below or get in touch with your local Ivory Egg team. Thanks for watching this Ivory Egg Technical Bulletin, and don't forget to subscribe to be kept up to date with other product and industry news.